Malaysia is one of the countries in the world with advanced state of public infrastructure. The Zambian government, through infrastructure, housing and urban development minister Charles Melupi, says Zambia is intrigued with Malaysia's transformation agenda, hence Zambia's interest to learn how the country has gotten to this level. Mr. Melupi said this when he paid a cater score on Malaysian Minister of Works Alexander Natalingi at his office in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. In Africa, Zambia in the last two years has proved a leader in terms of uh, the utilization of uh, the public private uh, partnership as a way of uh, leveraging, leveraging the, uh, the private sector to finance these projects. So that's why uh, our High Commissioner is, is, is asking for assistance to meet with uh, the department that deals with this matter so we can learn uh, uh, from these issues. Mr. Lingi, on the other hand, informed the Zambian delegation that Malaysia has developed primarily through private sector participation by the adoption of the public-private partnership model which was introduced in that country the 1980s. There's no doubt that the role by the PPP, what we call UCAS here, mm -hmm. in Bahasa, yeah. Yeah? Uh, that is a collaboration between the government, private sector and the uh, public sector of financing, has indeed, uh, uh, I think, attributed to the success. If you <clears throat> see that uh, it, is, it has been a success for us in that sense. That's why the um, role played by the PPP, or what we call UCAS, is still very much relevant. By leveraging private sector investment, the Zambian government can allocate its resources more effectively. This is particularly important for a country like Zambia, aiming to meet infrastructure demands without straining public resources. This challenge of uh, uh, our, our relation being specific with the and that's why we work with the other agencies so that people can have the country so that then uh, uh, we can access these places. Yeah, so the market is there. Kalan Muchima reporting for Zanis in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia.